Today, we're talking about listening to music in another language. So kawaii desu. What's up, everybody? We're talking about foreign music. Foreign from America, that is. Yeah. Well, foreign for whatever language you're watching this in. If you're watching this in another language with subtitles, mm -hmm. you know, same thing. Um, basically, what we're talking about is how when we grew up, and this is the way most people are, and especially in America right now, mm -hmm. is we only listen to music in English. English. In our language. And most people in our country... The common tongue. Yeah. Most people in our country will only listen to music in English. In English. Which doesn't seem like a big deal. No. Nah. You don't you think, well, obviously I speak English. Why would I listen to it in another language? <laughs> well, let me tell you why. <laughs> There's so much music out mm -hmm. there. So much good music that honestly sounds completely different from anything that we have here. Or, in some cases, sounds just as good. Yeah, or, so well, I'm not saying it's not good, just because it sounds different. Like, well, what I'm saying is it can sound the same as American music, just in another language, and it can be really different, like, sound almost like a different genre that we don't do here. Like, they use different sounds sometimes that aren't often used yeah. in our music. And you should really, really listen to music in other languages. Yeah, I, I agree. Um... My my language of choice for foreign language is uh, I really like uh, Japanese rock, J rock. Mm -hmm. But you know what? K pop is also very good. I've listened to Korean music, mm -hmm. Japanese music, French rap. I really like French rap. Mm -hmm. um, German, Italian rock, German rock. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a just a lot of good music out there that's in other languages, and as soon as you can get over. That barrier of this, I don't understand this. I don't understand what they're saying. These lyrics obviously mean nothing. Suddenly, it becomes really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly gotten to the point for me, and I know for Dakota as well, that we hear a song in another language, and we don't even, like, register. It's just like, oh, that's a good song, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That was some LMC. <laughs> I just, LMC. I just weaved out. <laughs> but, like, we don't even register right off unless you think about it. Like, oh, wait, this isn't even in English. Yeah. Like, we just like it. But I wanted to talk a little bit about my journey with, tell, and your journey, too. Tell me about it. So, basically, <laughs> uh, when I was younger, you know, like I said, only listened to English. When you music. were a young boy? Yeah. Did your father ever take you to the Black Parade? Unfortunately, no. Dang. But I only listened to English music, and, you know, I thought that was fine. And then I started getting into anime. I started seeing anime openings, and I'd be like, oh, these are really good. And, of course, anime openings are in Japanese. And for the most part. For the most part. So I got to the point where eventually I was like, okay, I like anime openings, and I'll listen to openings. But I'm not going to listen to that Japanese crap. Like, I'm not going to listen to the music. Like, the other music. I'm just going to listen to the openings. Those are clearly different. One day, I don't know what it was, like, I think I was looking up an opening, and it, like, linked me on YouTube to another one of that band's songs, and this band was Back On, uh, which is basically the Japanese Linkin Park. Oh, You should okay. look them up if you've never heard them. They're called Back On? I've been wanting to look them up. Back On, huh? yeah. And, uh, I just started listening to the other of their songs, and I was like, this is amazing! And I called my brother in, and I was like, listen to this song! And we were, like, singing along with it, obviously speaking gibberish. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, and before I move on too much and get to Dakota's story, but that's how I started. And then at cons, I started buying more music and just listening to more Japanese music, and it's just gone since then. Mm -hmm. But, look, all you Miku fans. Oh, I got this at a con. What do you think, you jelly? This is, uh, Supercell. You ever heard of Supercell? Yeah. I have. Their first album was Miku. Nikutized Vocaloid. Vocaloid. So let's talk about your journey getting into Japanese music. I know you fought hard, it much was, harder than I fought. It was a little similar to yours, though. You know, I, it was like, I'm not, I like, I even hated listening to the opening. He I did. Mean, I was like, oh, we would watch anime together and he'd be like, like oh, oh, God. And I'd want to listen to it because I'd be like, this is a good song. And he'd be like, no, oh, oh, my oh, God. Man, this sucks. I don't want to listen to this. This is the worst minute and a half of my life. Mm -hmm. But then that all changed with. 
The Fire Nation attacking. Yeah. No. It changed with Soul Eater. I remember this. I remember because it came on and it's like, da 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 Link below for the song. <laughs> Okay. Um, <coughs> so we are showing our inner weeb today. <laughs> uh, so that kind of did. I was like, this song's kind of good. And then you know, after that, I was just like, well, maybe I can kind of. I don't know what the transition was, honestly. I think at the time I was still also kind of watching. Uh, we were also still. Sort of watching FMA. You liked the FMA songs a lot. I did. I did like those. Uh, I do know. I think one thing that helped a lot was probably going to Anime Crossroads mm. that first time because they played a lot of Japanese music just all over there. And then you were in my car, and I listened to Japanese music on the way there and back. I, I kind of was helping to expose him, but it was helping to expose him to it. Like, and I think that in the end, that helped a lot. Yeah, it did. Um. But I do want to make a warning. Don't... I messed up when I got into Japanese music. But I do this. I have obsessions that I go mm. through. And maybe we'll talk about that in another episode. Mm. But I go through major obsessions where I just... I get on something and that's like... That's it. For a while. And uh, Japanese music was one of those things for me. Where when I first really got into it. Like that's all I wanted to listen to. Just Japanese music. Nothing else. Yeah. And, like I remember I'd be like... I'd be like... Uh, Come on, the mails, and you'd be like, oh, I don't really want to listen to that, and it's, it's in English. Yeah, that's in English. Oh my god, why would you listen to that? That's so bad. What we're trying to tell you guys in this episode is to listen to music. It doesn't have to be in it Japanese. It doesn't have to be Japanese. Like, Italian rock is really good. Just listen to music in other languages, and don't cut yourself off to exclusively that language, because then you're doing exactly what you're doing with English. Like, just give yourself everything. There's so much good mm -hmm. music out there. Like, there's great English music. There's great Japanese music. Anything. Think about this. There are bands from America that are absolutely giant in Japan. Mm -hmm. And they don't care. And like, say, like, uh, my favorite band, 30 Seconds to Mars. That's my absolute favorite band on the planet. Good band. They're not necessarily... I they're, got you in They're those. huge here. They're huge in America. But in Europe, well, they they're giant over there. Like all the posts I see on Facebook and the page I'm in, all of them are from people in Europe or Spain or Italy or Germany. Like they're just giant over there. Like and they they sing in English. So like I, I just thought about this while we were talking about this. They don't discriminate English in other countries. Why in America do we discriminate the different languages here? It's a really weird phenomenon that happens here, where like. I mean, I've definitely noticed over my days that America seems to be pretty xenophobic. Mm. Like, which if you don't know what that means, it's like afraid of things that aren't from America. Like, I mean, there's there's times when we're not, we're like, yeah, we'll embrace that. And then there's times where we're like, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. like so long, I would see, that's a like I would tell people I like anime and they'd be like, oh, that Japanese cartoon crap. Mm -hmm. And it's like. Just because it's Japanese doesn't mean it's not good. I think this is a. Uh, I think this what we're getting into is a different discussion for a different day. You're right. It probably could be, but um, the whole thing we're trying to get at is that uh, we really made our point. You know. Yeah. Listen uh, to music in other languages. Do, should we tell? Should we throw out some bands that are good? I personally like LMC. Back on Funkist is good. Mm -hmm. uh, they do some fairy tale openings. Mm -hmm. Who sings Duhas? Oh, that's Ramstein. Ramstein, Ramstein. There you go. You you probably heard of Ramstein, but they sing in German. Mm -hmm. Um, they, these this band I'm about to mention sings mainly in English, but they're an Italian band, you know. So, um, let me think. Oh, what about, uh, Lacuna Coil? They're an Italian like metal band. The mm -hmm. they're very very similar. Like, if you didn't know going in, you'd probably be like, oh, this is uh, Evanescence, but no. Oh, uh, they're very sound like, but they're an Italian rock band. Um, I think too for the Japanese category, especially what? that can't be left Wait, off the list. Let me. I, I bet you I'm gonna guess what it is. Okay. One OK Rock. One OK Rock, please. One OK Rock is even mostly in English. They're touring in America. They just have accents. Listen to One OK Rock, you will love it. Mm-hmm. 
And you won't, don't even notice because they switch from English to Japanese. Yeah, you won't even realize what's happening. Yeah. That's a good introduction band to other languages. We, I realize we've been mainly saying that Japanese, but that's mainly what we listen well, to. Well, that's just because that's mainly what we listen to, but it doesn't yeah. have to be Japanese. Yeah, like, yeah. Just go out and find what... If you, there's a language that you really like, like say, you're interested in, say, listen say to that. Say you want to listen to Spanish yeah. music. Go find some Spanish Go find music. some Spanish bands or some Spanish oh, pop songs. Go If you like rap, listen to French rap. It's... You I don't know why. This. I love French rap. Like, it sounds so good. But can you guess the other band I was going to say? Um, let's see. Did you say LMC? Yeah. Mm. This is a one that I was big into recently. Recent. Oh! Uh, oh, crap. Uh, uh, I cannot. Flow. Flow. I knew it was like a one word. Flow is a really good Japanese band. Another one that if... I, I'm also saying a lot of Japanese ones because I'm assuming our fan base is really into the Japanese yeah. culture. They're into the Japanese. Just because, you know, I come from convention reviews, we're doing nerd culture stuff. That's all Japanese stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, Those are all really good bands you guys should check out. Um, that's pretty much it. I mm -hmm. mean, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hashtag 1UP. And uh, go Never. ahead and go in the comments mm -hmm. and let us know what bands... Do you like that are in other languages? And what languages do you guys listen to often that aren't English? Mm -hmm. Or if your native tongue is another language, uh, you know, what, do you enjoy English music? Yeah. Like, like say, if you're uh, if you're Chinese, do you like uh, do you like bands? Do you like Def Leppard? <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it, guys. All right. Stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch yesterday's video, click right here in the center of the screen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And read the description to find our other channels, plus our Twitch and more. Nice, bro. Could you keep that in? <laughs>